thousand people. Mr. Lera said because of the Bougainville crisis, the autonomous region only makes about 9 million kina each year. The ABG, as well as the people, depend entirely on the national government for its service delivery and development. Even the economic activities of the people are conducted in East New Britain, where the market is vibrant. All the money, all the people below me will come up in the sweat. And East New Britain will benefit from it. The taxes, all the people who are all the people below me will produce them. Only work law export him out of East New Britain. Now East New Britain work Boganville work law grow him economy below East New Britain. Now Pelesiet no cut. It was in this context that Mr. Lera asked Prime Minister O'Neill and the East New Britain provincial government to consider giving back to Bougainville in terms of community and economic projects. O'Neill said apart from the 15 million kina grant that the national government continues to support in the peace agreement, support also comes from the recurrent budget and a district support improvement program to address development issues. Uh, last year, uh, we provided for a, a, an additional grant of 100 million kina a year, uh, which we just gave a check this year for the first 100 million kina. And I stress that uh, at that meeting of the uh, uh, Bougainvilleans and the national government in Kokopo, that we want to see some tangible uh, development out of that funding. Uh, that, that means you know, trying to fix the major highway from Kokopo down to Buin, uh, trying to resell in the uh, Arawa Township, uh, trying to uh, uh, rebuild the Kieta port. O'Neill said he will get Treasurer Don Paulier to write to the governor detailing the grant support which Bougainville will be receiving. Prime Minister O'Neill said bringing normalcy back to Bougainville remains priority for the government. He assured that Bougainville will see many developments over the next five years as proof of this. Delibagu, National MTV News.